Today on our 2011 Ram 3500, we will be taking a look at and installing the Curt Custom Fit Class 5 Extra Duty Receiver Hitch, part number C15409. And here's what our Curt Extra Duty Hitch is going to look like once it's installed. You're going to see that it's going to sit directly below our factory receiver hitch, whether our vehicle has one or not. It'll sit directly below, right down like so. Now this is going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. That's solid welded design. That's going to be great for adding extra durability. Those welded chain tie downs on either side with that plate steel type design. This receiver hitch is going to have a five eighths inch pinhole going straight through. This receiver hitch is going to have that gusset type or fully welded type design for that receiver chain tie down and gusset up top for adding extra strength. It's gonna have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening with a 2,550 pound tongue weight, max tongue weight capacity. And that's gonna be the maximum downward pressure that you're gonna be able to put right here on the end of the receiver tube. As far as towing capacity, it's gonna have a 17,000 pound towing capacity. And that's gonna be your trailer loaded up with all your accessories. Now, whether you have weight distribution or not, that's not gonna change this receiver hitch at all. You can see this is gonna have a nice black powder coat finish to help prevent any kind of rust and corrosion, as well as that fully welded design and plate steel around the outside. That's gonna add that nice sleek, rugged finish and last you a long time with its durability. Now we'll go ahead and give you a few measurements to assist you in selecting for hitch accessories for your new receiver hitch. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground, it's going to be about 19 inches. From the center of the pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's going to be about four inches. First thing we're going to do is get underneath the back of our vehicle. You can see that we do have that factory hitch here on our vehicle because it's going to be welded and that new hitch is going to come underneath of it. Locate our mounting points for our new receiver hitch, which is going to be the big hole located here and the big hole located here. You're gonna have two different types of blocks. The skinny one is gonna to go towards the front, and the larger one is gonna go here at the rear. It should be about like so on the other side of the frame rail. Now for this front mounting location, we need to get the skinny block into position over the hole. So what we'll do is we'll put a small little hook on the back side of our pull wire, and we're gonna push it all the way out the back of the frame rail and once we have it at the back of the frame rail, we'll go ahead and hook on. Go ahead and pull it through until we get it over the pole. Once we get it over the hole, we can then pull the fish wire out. We'll invert it to where the coil goes out of our, through our block and out the access hole. Once we're out the access hole, We'll go ahead and thread on that carriage bolt. Slide it into the frame rail and pull it through the mounting location. Now we'll go ahead and put in that big square block at the back. Go ahead and slide it over the rail. We can do this by hand. Once we have it over, we can then drop it down like so. We'll go ahead and get our other fish wire going through the hole once more with the coils. And we're gonna go up and into this hole up here where our receiver hitch from the factory comes out. Thread it on and pull it down. Let's go ahead and repeat that same process on the passenger side. Now that we've got all of our hardware in place, we're gonna go ahead and get an extra set of hands to help us hold the hitch up into place so we can mount it. Go ahead and slide it up over the bolts All right, now that we got the bolts through, we'll go ahead and place on our flange nuts. If you need to, have your extra set of hands hold, put, hold it up into place. Well, you hold the bolt so you don't push it back into the frame. Get that flange nut on and thread it down. Now we'll go ahead and tighten these down and torque them to manufacturer specifications.
Now we'll take our spacers and slide them up in between. Use as many as necessary to fill in that gap. We'll have our hex bolt and flat washer that'll go through that top hole or top slot, sliding through that spacer and then placing our flange on the back, our flange nut on the back side. Go ahead and take our open end wrench on one side and tighten it down on the other side. And that will do it for our review and installation of the Kirk Custom Fit Class 5 Extra Duty Receiver Hitch, part number C15409 on our 2011 Ram 3500.